Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Iowa 2. My name's Altarn. Last time we nicked a few turret fighters from a Mars facility. Yes, this is glee in my voice. And we have mail. I wonder what I wonder what that is. Let's have a look. Jeez. You guys don't kid around. Honorary steps in membership. Cow, liberating the turret fighters was a neat trick. Those little hornets are going to come in really useful against the marauders. <gasps> Mars systems are going to go crazy when they found out that a whole batch of their newest toys have been stolen right from under their noses. Imagine their faces when you use the fighters against their shipping. I'd give anything to be a fly on the wall at their next board meeting. The clan agrees that you have served us very well, so we have agreed to pay you back a little by bringing you into the fold and making you an honorary stepson. Does that mean I get money? Or goodies? This is pretty unusual. My mother has not taken this step for 30 years or more. Wow, that is unusual. Don't be too worried that we are trying to interfere with your affairs. All this means is that we will help you out however we can. As a sign of our goodwill, I have offered up a few new trade items that you might want to consider. There is some hardware on this list that I guess you could make good use of. So, here's to a lasting and profitable relationship between us. We are both looking for the same things and working towards the same goals. But we're not the only ones. There are quite a few groups like ourselves in the system, and a lot of them are allied to the League. It seems now that the League has taken an interest in you and your colleagues. They might have a view to using your skills in one of their future ventures. So, the chances are that we'll be contacting you soon. Speak to you soon, Elmo Stepson. Thank you, Elmo. The Marauder Problem! Also from Elmo Stepson. Cal, you are probably aware of the Marauder Problem in the system. Actually, we haven't seen Marauders, but oh well. And the problem is getting worse. Attacks have intensified, particularly in the asteroid belt where several independent settlements have been wiped out. There are, were no survivors. Oh dear. We still are not able to figure out a pattern of marauder attacks, although reports from outside of Hoffer's Wake seem to indicate they are a problem across the whole Badlands cluster. Without more information, we cannot form an effective defense against their raids. To be frank, right now, they hold all the cards, and, and, and further escalation of their attacks will pose a serious threat to the whole of this system. We cannot even rely on outside help. The Alliance government and the police seem to bunch the marauders win, win with all the privateer activity. As farmers, there is little we can do directly, but we, along with the Kong and the League, are prepared to offer bounties to any marauder ships destroyed. More importantly, we are offering a sizable reward for any information that may give us a lead to the motives, movement and potential targets of the marauders. I'm hoping you might collect some of that bounty, Cal. We'll talk again soon. Elmo Stepson. Alright! So, um, mm -hmm. curious about the hardware. Yeah, what hardware? Oh, and trades. They offered us new trades. A Gatling cannon would be oh so awesome, but not nearly as awesome as getting Auto Repair 2. Uh, cryo PBC? Uh, not overly useful at this stage. Beta heatsink. Again, we don't really need that because the Turk just just doesn't have. Ooh, ooh! This is something else. Let's get one of those. Uh, let's make sure we're not going to trade off something we might need. All right, meteor LDA. Let's grab that. That's just more strong, sh a stronger shield. Definitely useful. And we can't trade for another one so that's a shame but not a problem and signal mask might as well makes you harder um, to spot at range I think but more importantly we now have T fighters and they're already equipped and by the look of it um, we'll have to do some tweaking with that now T fighters are well, in a non-technical term, awesome. In a technical term, they're basically fighters that act as turrets or can act as independent wingmen. Now, um, the cool thing is that you can set them on fire and forget and they will really do their job. And um, yeah, that's one got a PBC, double PBC for the fighters here. And what can I equip here? 
nothing particularly good so I'll just stick with the quad light and missiles yeah why not actually I think I'll trade up in missiles for now and just go for some seeker missiles yeah let's see that's one pack and that's two can I go for three yes I can seeker miss seekers are pretty decent so I wanna quite a bunch of those looks like we got plenty of bulk chemicals as well so now there we go so now we've got about five crates of seeker missiles there's actually um, more than one type in there um, I think there's about 20 in one crate or something like that manufacturing wise we can now make turret fighters they're ridiculously expensive compared to the other blueprints however you really want to keep two on you <laughs> at all times uh, two's the maximum because we're uh, we don't have any other pilots uh, for them at least I've never tried equipping more than two actually what am I talking about it says two so two's the maximum okay and um, damn I was actually happy with um, my current loadout so we'll just do click here and then customize turret fighter 1 and give it another BBC generally speaking you want the heaviest hitting weapons on your turret fighters at all times and PBCs are the heaviest hitters they also have the best range of our current weaponry rapid fire PBCs they're weaker and have a lower range as well we don't want that and we don't have any other males and I've just realized I haven't actually shot down anything so let's go out and do a quick bit of pirating pirating just fly to the waypoint mark wingman training ground to activate the training no screw that I'm not gonna do that <sighs> I'm not gonna do I don't feel like doing that at all actually because I know how these things work I'll do it off screen perhaps um where shall we go um very tempted to go to black eye yeah I'm gonna give in to temptation black eye is interesting because there's pirate activity there which is like you can shoot it whenever you want to I'll spare you guys trip I'll see you at black eye I'll point to do some pirating hello well welcome and we have just arrived at Black Eye L point, and by the look of it, we've come at a great time. And okay, so maybe see there we go. And what I'm gonna do? See, um, the T fighters already acting on their own accord here. That's okay with me for now. Um, they've already made mincemeat out of that Corvette. But what we really want is to make sure these guys drop their cargo. Which is gonna happen right now. And since they're red, they're dead. We'll kinda have to do this anyway. Let's see. Um, Here's the cargo. Thank you. We'll never get away with it. Oh yes we will. Okay, we keep up. Take the cargo. Okay, looks like we got ourselves a very good haul here. Oh, you are just made out of chicken shit, aren't you? And looks like we got two escorts left to deal with. Probably belong to that utility freighter. See? See, and this is why I really, really, really wanted to have those T fighters. On my because way. they're. Oh, they're awesome. They shoot independently from you, which, um, you know, I explained how shields work in this game. And that's a league transport. Oh, the temptation. But they seem to be the good guys. And I want to be nice. But I'm also very in need of repair too. Full blocks and moonos and apes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So tempting. Gold ore, rare metals, laser detectors. Eh. I'll be nice. I'll make sure Jaffs has these goodies in the then we'll talk <sighs> besides that four escorts you know turret fighters are good they're not that good um, neither am I for that matter 
Um, let's see here. Let's pick a very distant target. Let's do some. Let's see. Oh yeah. Cargo coming in, nice Tap. and smooth. Ready. Okay, so now the T fighters have undocked, so I can now give them wingman orders. Now, for example, I can tell them to defend me or attacking platinum ore. No. Attack that. No, actually attack that. See, and now they're acting on their own accord. Notice that was a little buggers making this guy's life a living hell, hopefully. Providing an extra target. Usually, um... Oh, you! Chicken shit, bastard, useless... I'll put that down to a slip of your finger. Then you're an idiot. Let's see, and I want the T-Fighters back, cannot comply, no, 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 six, halting, no. Ah, damn, I've got the hotkey. I usually don't use them as wingmen, but, you know, I wanted to demonstrate their awesomeness. Oh, I'm um, flying. Um, there we go. Ah, Jazz probably got shot or something. Um, four. No. Five. No. No. Wait. Heading back to the farm, boy. There we go. It came to me, you know. You know. Eventually, it does. On my way. Now this time, please do not chicken out. And we got ourselves a whole batch of fresh new loot. Oh, yeah. Who knows? I'm so hoping that... I'm usually very simple about picking up loot. I usually take everything with me. I'm not particularly, um... Not particular about finding exactly what I need on them. That's one. Now let's hope as docks in quickly. And by the look of it, we have another pirate convoy coming in. Let's get some. No. Heading back to the farm, boys. Get back here. Yeah, they're getting close. That's one. That's two. Right. Let's get them. Free for all. They take, they take that very You'll seriously. Now. See, you notice a slight difference in s ease of killing. And you're red, you're dead. And that's it. <sighs> Gotta love this game. I've kinda got my hands full. Give me a minute. Ah, you're just slow. Um, you're fired. Uniforms. Alright. Okay, um... Oh, there we go again. Oh... Crap. Four... Two transports. And four... Friggin... Oh, boy. Yeah... And here I was about to say, I'm gonna just cut the video here and wait for the loading to complete. Guess that's not gonna happen. Now face the consequences. Yeah, I like your target picks. I like it better. If the escort dies quick. There we go. Next, fire. Oh, that's not a full freighter there. Die, Gloom, die. Before my hull is destroyed. Thank you. Now we have two transports to steal. 
No, not actually steel and transports, of course, but they do have stuff I want. No. Yeah. Okay, let's go for this one, guys. That's perfect. Okay. No! That's my answer. Looks like Jazz is on his way as well. And... Holy crap. That's a lot of cargo. Oh boy. To die now would suck beyond all suckage and suckage of that suckage even. Oh, goodness me, that's a good... I'm not kidding you, it's actually rare to get a haul this good, for me at least, um, this soon in the game. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just evacuate and make sure that I'm well off from the out point. And here's why, because I don't want any nasties jumping straight on top of me. I just want Jaffs to leave. Jaffs Give to me a break, Cal. I'm working as fast as I can. Yeah, my guess is Jaffs is leaving, though. The problem is, however, that the whole L point is littered with cargo, so that might actually pose a problem for him. Doesn't look like it, though. Looks like he's moving. Okay. Off he goes, and let's quickly call him in. Right in Shush, do your job. Way. There we go. So, hopefully we'll get this load as well. And then... Oh, I am so going back to base and saving. But I am going to spare you the whole loading nonsense, though. So I'll uh, see you guys back at the base. I made it back, eventually. Uh, the pirate transporters just kept coming and coming and coming and oh my goodness I had to call in Jeffs three maybe four times to actually get all the parts good haul there that's over 80 parts okay well um, this video has been is long enough now so I'm gonna end it right here thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed it feel free to visit my channel at any time you at your convenience okay see you guys next time